Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman. I am your GPR professor from LearnGPR.com and I'm answering questions that I got on LinkedIn. And so this one comes from Arn Anderson Stamnis. Uh, and his question, great question, is how long should you wait between you know, a rainfall uh, before surveying your site? And of course the answer is it depends. But you know, a lot of times we want to wait till after it rains and give it some time to dry out because saturated soils uh, can decay the signal strength you know, pretty quickly depending on what the soils are made out of. And so often we tell people, look, if it rains and you can wait a couple of days, it could be better. But in reality, it's not always the case, okay? And the reason is, is that GPR, and here's a quote I got from Greg Johnston, was GPR measures contrast, not composition. And it's a great quote. Uh, and, and the point of that quote is that it, it gets to the heart of that all GPR is, is contextual. And so there are situations where you would want to wait for it to rain before you go out and survey. Here's why. If there's little contrast between the targets of interest and the surrounding soils that your target's embedded in, then you may not be able to see it. But if it rains and the water can pool up on the target of interest, and then you can survey, you might be able to identify the target's location because of the pooled rain, right? Because that will create the contrast uh, between the target and the surrounding material. So it could be your friend, right? That's quite possible, especially if your target is uh, low dielectric and it's embedded in dry sand and that's low dielectric you know, material, low dielectric constant material, uh, all fast moving waves and you just have subtle response, it could be difficult to identify that. But if it rains, the rain will percolate through the sand quickly, leaving it probably pretty reasonable to survey in any way, and, uh, uh, but it might pool up on your target. And so if it pools up on your target or in around your target, you might be able to identify it because of the rain. Now, alternatively, if you have poor soils and there's plenty of contrast between the target and the soils themselves, and it rains, it could deplete your signal very quickly and limit how deep you can see. And so in those cases, a couple days, you know, might be worthwhile. Maybe it's the next day, maybe it's the afternoon. Depends how hard it rains, how bad the soils are, and, and, and so forth. So it's not an exact answer other than it's, it's contextual, right? It's, it, it's all about context. Um, project site conditions, soils you're working in, or material you're working in, and, and uh, the targets of material properties. And so uh, that's how I kind of think about it, right? The rain or water could be your friend or it could be your enemy. It really depends on where you're working. So I hope this added some value to you and, uh, you know, go ahead and please share this around. If you know somebody who can benefit from this, share it with a, a colleague, a classmate, a friend, um, subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button, please. We're trying to continue to build a community here. Uh, please click the like button and make sure you go to learngpr.com and um, put your name and email address in and you'll get access to our free introductory uh, webcasts and we'll send you emails every week about upcoming training workshops and free videos. So thanks so much. Good luck in the field.